In today's video, we're gonna attempt to drop a fleet of paper airplanes from our massive RC paper airplane. So we're back at it again. Right. The paper airplane is still in one piece. It didn't fly yeah. perfect though. No, we got it out of the tree and it actually we did more damage to it getting out of the tree than actually the tree did to the plane. But it's back and we need to get this thing flying successfully and also up the ante a little. Yeah, so we need to make some mods to it to improve the flight characteristics. It didn't turn, which is an issue yeah. when you're flying an airplane of any kind, especially a paper airplane. So we need to figure out how to make a turn as well as maybe a little bit more power. Yeah, a lot more power. You know, kind of looking back at how it flew, there's some definite simple things we could do that hopefully will fix both the power issue and the turning issue. We're gonna tackle that first and then we have a mission we wanna put it on. So the mission at hand is all thanks to our members. We actually put out a poll to our members and let them decide what they would like to see us do with this giant paper airplane. And they chose they wanted to see a huge fleet of small regular paper airplanes drop from the big paper airplane. So if you guys aren't familiar with our membership, it's a new functionality on YouTube that you can join and it will give you early access to our videos, members only content. And it's cool because we get to have an intimate conversation with you guys and you guys get to help us shape the content moving forward. So huge shout out to all of our members out there. So as you can see, we already removed the motors here. This is our little motor pod boom and we have these little cool motor mounts that attach perfectly onto these carbon fiber rods. So. Josh, what do you think? You have some yeah. ideas for this? One thing that I failed to realize is that this plane does fly so much slower and also all the thrust is on the bottom. Pitch wasn't the issue, but banking was. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take out this boom, we're gonna put a much longer boom in, and then we're gonna put two motors on each side that are farther out, and there's a really good reason for that. We're gonna not only get twice as much power, which we really need, and we'll make this fly beautifully, but also we're gonna get more leverage action. Um, if you guys remember when I talked about differentials, we move things further out, the motors have to uh, work less hard to be able to turn the airplane. We're gonna have twice as many motors further out, and from that, hopefully we'll get the leverage to be able to turn this plane around using differential thrust, basically the rudder. So you're gonna, you're gonna double up the motors? We're gonna double. We're gonna put a motor here, and then a motor on the back. So we're gonna stagger the motors, one in the front, one in the back, so hopefully they'll still be under the paper airplane, but that should give us a lot more power. And yeah. I think we take it out and just see if it'll fly. So a couple different design challenges we're gonna have to solve, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. Yep, I'm gonna, I'll grab some motors and we'll get to work. All right, let's do it. You like, my, you like my prop here? Yeah, man, what are you doing <laughs> under here? So we're powering this up here. We got two motors going into Y, but we have four motors total, ganged into two on the left, two on the right. Uh, what we have now is uh, differential thrust, and I'm gonna go ahead and test that out, make sure all the motors are spinning properly. Uh, it sounds weird, but we need one tractor, one pusher on each side, so we gotta make sure the props are right and they're all spinning in the right direction. Super differential thrust. All right, gonna start my first start. Smooth. Ooh, I don't yes. wanna stick my head over there. Yeah, it's a blender. Look at the boom bending. Oh, my hat. Can you get my hat to blow? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we get any further in this project, I wanted to take the time to thank our sponsor for this video, and that is our good friends over at HelloFresh. Now, you might be asking, what is HelloFresh? HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit where you can get all these crazy, amazing ingredients delivered directly to your door so you can make amazing meals at home. HelloFresh has more five-star recipes than any other meal kit, so you know you'll get something delicious every time in the mail. So I don't know if you realize this, but the average trip to the grocery store takes about 41 minutes, which is pretty crazy. So if you work that, if you work out all the math on that, that works out to be about 35 hours per year that you're spending going to the grocery store, which is a big waste of time. And HelloFresh is here to save you time because it's delivering it directly to your doorstep. So on your doorstep, what you're gonna find is some pre-portioned ingredients, which means there's less prep and less food waste. Another thing that I thought was really interesting was HelloFresh's carbon footprint is 25% less than other store-bought grocery-made meals. One of the coolest things about it is it's flexible to your lifestyle. You can do things like add extra meals or lunches to your weekly order, or you can throw in yummy sides and desserts like garlic bread and cookie dough. So I had the opportunity to cook at home some chicken sausage and spinach ricotta ravioli, which is quite a mouthful, but it's also very tasty when it's in your mouth. One of the things that I really like about using HelloFresh to cook my meals, it gives you an opportunity to experiment with new ingredients that you typically wouldn't otherwise know anything about. So it's kind of like a cooking school. It has really easy to understand step-by-step -step instructions that are really well printed, so you're not gonna miss a step. So here's the best part about all this. You can check the link below. It's hellofresh.com. And if you use our promo code, it's flighttest10, you're actually gonna get 10 free meals with free shipping. So let me reiterate that. That's 10 
free yummy meals delivered directly to your door for free if you use our promo code FLIGHTTEST10. So big thanks to HelloFresh. It's because of awesome sponsors like them that we're able to do what we do. And also for you guys watching and giving HelloFresh your ears and seeing what they have going on. It is a symbiotic relationship and we could not be thankful enough. And with all that being said, we have a project to build. So let's get back to it. All right, so we're getting the differential programmed. We got double the power now and also double the differential. So it should have more yaw control. So we're gonna finish getting this set up and I think a test flight is in order. We wanna make sure it flies good before we attempt to drop the fleet of paper airplanes. So Stefan, you got four times as much danger now. Yep, love that. All righty, here we go, buddy. Good luck. Oh, oh my goodness. Stefan, are you okay? I got it. Oh, we got oh this, guys. I heard that thud. My dude, oh you're my just face. <laughs> Differential for the win, guys. <laughs> hey, we did it. Oh, I, man. I got to that lift and I died. <laughs> I fell over. <clears throat> wow, I haven't seen it in person it fly. Is, I was sick last time. Yeah, as bad as it no, turned me for, this is controllable. I was oh, gonna say, this flies is good amazing. compared to what it was. That's phenomenal. I didn't see it go because my head was in the dirt, but other so, than that, it was great. Spring is coming, and one of the biggest things we've been constantly going back to is like, what are we gonna get to fly with all the awesome people that come out? Yes. And this has been like, I think this for you it. and I, Alex, this is the one that we want to bust out whenever we Dude, can, right? Dude, the small ones are cool, but I have to say, this Sounds one amazing. in the air flies the most like a paper airplane. It's, it's just sure. coasting. His hands off, The too, speed, man. the Here. speed relative to the scale. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> you gotta <laughs> got turn with a lot of rudder. Oh my god. I don't know what that sound is. Something's gonna happen, but. <laughs> That's the motors, man. It's the motors. You're just going, ah! Isn't that cool? Dude, it has like auto level with yeah. that dihedral. <laughs> Look at that. So, turning as hard as I can, let go, auto level. Dude, that oh. sick, dude. You don't need no software. What are the neighbors thinking right now? They're like, okay, there was a C-130 flying the other day. Now there's this paper plane back. Oh. So this is one of the beautiful things. We love failures because failures bring understanding to what's wrong. That brings solutions. We're never going to forget this on how differential and, and the moments of that works. <laughs> I hear that now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Should, yeah. I, should I land it? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, bring it in. There you go. <laughs> What's the glide still like? It's, it's something, yeah, it's not turning as good. That's because you don't have one of the motors. You got this? Yes, you go, come on now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! It's alive! <laughs> With yes, three motors and a claw awesome, trying to clip go. them out the air, All yes. Right. <laughs> so so wow. now that's just part of the fun. We got to make a lot of paper airplanes, bomb drop system, release mechanism, and of course cameras to film it all, right? Yeah, right. and then drop them from the sky. It's going to be epic and beautiful. I can't believe I... I did it. <laughs> did it. I did it. Yeah. Yep, there's 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 the problem. Yeah. <laughs> look at this prop. So so, so the, the funny thing is <laughs> oh yeah, look at the look at the I'm just gonna unplug that now. We don't need that. Yeah. We don't need that. <laughs> yeah, so by the way, limited lifetime warranty on all ESCs. Not if you chop them. <laughs> you can't chop them. That's not if fair. it's in a monster paper airplane, I'll consider it. <laughs> um, all right, well, yeah, let, let's go in there and start folding planes. And yeah, we got markers. a lot of work ahead of us. We have some major steps. Obviously, we chewed up some wires. Noah here is going to go ahead and put that beast back together, get all the motors running and new props on it uh, so the damage is repaired. From that point, we're going to go ahead and put our attention into making a really cool, I guess, I won't say a bomb bay, maybe a glider bay. Yeah. Would be a better word Sounds for good. it. We're going to make a glider bay that will go in here and we're going to pack that full of as many paper airplanes as possible. Uh, one thing I'm a little concerned about is if the hatch kind of gets jarred or stuck it's gonna act like a big old elevator so what I'm thinking here is we actually use something called the BDF now oftentimes you probably heard us talk about BDFs it stands for Ben's ducted fan and there's a good reason why we have the name Ben in there our dear community member Ben Harbor actually designed this Ben's ducted fan basically uses mini quad motors he designed a really cool housing that makes low-end thrust but also really great efficiency, where typically you don't have either in a jet. We've actually been working hard behind the scenes. We're getting these housings molded out of really good, dimensionally stable plastic, so people will be able to take a mini quad motor and basically get incredible power, incredible efficiency, and super scale flight. So if you see behind me, we have F-18s, we have Vipers, we have all sorts of different jets. Even the A-10 will be able to take the BDFs in the near future. We're gonna use a prototype BDF now, and we're gonna blow a ton of air in there, and the back is gonna have a trapdoor 
door. Once we release the pin for the trap door and blow air in it, it's basically hopefully gonna evacuate everything inside and we'll be able to test it on the ground and make sure it works before we ever put it in the air. All right, who's ready to fold some paper airplanes? Got my folding I'm, hands ready. I'm sure you guys have nothing else going on today, right? Nope, nothing. Nope. All right. I cleared my schedule. Okay, so we, we have, have the, here, what do we got? The old Office Devo Enviro Copy 30. So that means, number. that means it's biodegradable. So when we drop yeah. these guys and they land well, in some the, trees, right? I think all paper is biodegradable. I don't right? know if that's true. Because it's, it's got made the out green of trees. seal certified FSC, whatever that means. 30% recycled white paper. I don't necessarily know if we're gonna build all of them, but we're gonna build as much as we can by the time Josh is done with the bomb drop or the paper airplane drop mechanism. Hopefully we'll have a good fleet of paper aircraft. Well, here's another thing to think about. This ream of paper weighs 20 pounds. Yeah. So if we, and that's 500 sheets. That doesn't sheets. weigh 20 pounds, dude. That's what it says right there. It's 20, 20 pound paper. No, it's. That's the. So each sheet's 20 pounds? This is not 20 that's, pounds. That's a lot of weight. Let's weigh it. Right here. Let's right weigh here. it. Let's weigh, weigh it. Weigh it. Right here. Let's weigh it. There's no way it's 20 pounds, dude. <laughs> Put it on the scale. Put it on the scale. Right. Let's see what it says. Five pounds. Five pounds. <laughs> 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 20 <laughs> pounds. 20 <laughs> 40 pounds of paper. So wait, does 20 pounds just mean like that's it's that's the weight? It's the weight of the paper. That's the weight of the paper. How thick, thick it is. It's just like they just thick. use pounds for whatever. That's maybe the worst. maybe that's how much weight you can put on it before it the paper rips. rips. That's what I was thinking. It's I don't know. Right. How, right. Why do they use pounds to measure paper? Leave us a comment below. <laughs> Let me know. So anyways, we got uh, one, two, three, four guys. We're gonna go at this. I don't know how long. Uh, at least an hour or two, and see how many paper airplanes we get. Because uh, we're gonna drop them out of our big mothership paper airplane. All right. So enough talking. We got some folding to do. All right. The first days. three are done. Uh, so what kind of paper airplanes are we building here, guys? Dude, it's the classic. It's there it's just like the mothership, and, <laughs> and the folds are on the inside, right, Stefan? The folds, no. depending on where you come from He's and where it. you're at, depending on whether you fold on the inside or the outside. So here's I've the debate. Been, I've always been Leave us a comment down below. Do you build your paper airplane like this or like this? Here, stop so you can see. What are you doing? Sorry, dude. Matt built his plane like this with the folds and the creases on the top. Flies, but you can see that's kind of what we modeled our no, big one after. This no, is yours? No, that's yours. What are you talking about? Well, well, how... Stop it. <laughs> okay, this is the one that Stefan made. His folds are on the bottom like yes. this. Which one is legit? Dude, team inside. <laughs> Put it in the comment. Yeah. yeah. How do you hey, fold your hey, paper you know, airplane? Hey, We're gonna have a variety. Fly. Ready? Here we go. Let's yeah. go, Matt. Fly off. Straight towards the window. Yeah, three, two, one. Matty wins. Inside, dude. Team inside. <laughs> that's not mine. That was, that was, that was his. <laughs> Oh wow, this, this is mine. Wait right. for it. Team inside it is. He's too late, Stefan. Right? Still oh. team inside, dude. Yeah, leave us a comment down below. How do you build your paper airplanes? Are you folding on the inside or folding on the outside? Oh, Jeremy has a whole different style. Yeah, I told you. What the? It's That's not like the standard style. Tony's there? What do you mean this isn't standard? That's different. That's, yeah. that's the third style. You have a slant nose. That was cool. Thank you. I was also making four at a time. What is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> We're over here struggling. Yeah, he's, got... he's making four at a time? Holding out on us. <laughs> like at a 30 degree angle, yep. Whoa! Look at that one. One work. That was eight. cheap. Yeah. All right, 30 paper airplanes at once. Ready? <laughs> How many paper airplanes do we have roughly? I think we have enough right now. First batch is... Hold on, hold on. Right. We, we can do this. That's 60. 0.62 kg. Okay. So now set these ones aside. 0.04 is 10. Oh, that is a lot of paper. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Right now, you're at 0.88 kilograms. Point, I was gonna say 0.9 divided by what was 10? 0 0.4. Okay, so. 22.5 times 10. 
equals 225. 225. Plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Plus 11. So essentially about 240 airplanes, give or take. No, it's 250. <laughs> it's a quarter of a thousand. Quarter thousand paper airplanes. Quarter thousand. Quarter thousand. Quarter thousand. <laughs> quarter thousand paper airplanes. So 250? Is what you said? Yeah, we can fold up a couple more to bring it to 250, right? Yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah, let's bring it to 250. 250 airplanes I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need. out of a giant airplane. Done. So what we're doing here is we got the BDF in the front. We got like a ramp to kind of hopefully kick them up and kick them out. Now what we got to do is see how they'll blow out, if they'll blow out. And that's what we're going to do right now. I want to I see if this will work. So we need, to, we need to simulate it flying. All right, so here's the first test. Stefan's simulating the high alpha attitude. And Josh is about to give the uh, lever a pull and it should uh, shoot these paper airplanes right out the back. Ready? See what Three, happens. Two, one. <laughs> One more time. Did he even try? Is it like... Come on. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. That was good. I think it works. I just don't know how well they're going to fly. It's going to be fine. Okay. See, at home I had a lot better luck with something like that. <laughs> He's still trimming the planes. <laughs> so Josh is having anxiety because there's all these airplanes everywhere, paper airplanes, and not they none of them fly like perfect. <laughs> And he's like over here trying to figure out each one. It's like this one, it's just a little, it just wants to nose dive a little. And this one, this one's funny because the CG is a little bit off. He's having anxiety over there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you right now. Dude, it's okay, man. Not all planes need to fly. Great. So I got the mid-sized paper airplane. This is the one from the original. This is where it all started. It was the large, but We've now been it's... on like a, ever since we made these, we've had this odd obsession and we can't stop building all these paper airplanes. Yeah. So I'm gonna be flying this because you gotta fly with your family. And this is a paper airplane family. And this is like the uh, the oldest son right here. I'm not kidding you, this is heavy. I, I know there's it a, is. There's a lot of weight on this. So yeah. we're, we're out here at Ready Board Runway. Shout out to Readyboard. They're the guys that make all of our flight test foam and now our new maker foam. Stuff that this is all made out of. And they uh, sponsored Edgewater here. So we're out here at the runway. The winds are actually favorable today. So we're gonna be going yonder. Wait, it just turned. Yeah, you gotta cross the wind kind of pickles. Uh, well, never mind. Let's Not go. favorable wind. Let's go to Ready Made RC Runway. <laughs> all right, now this is confusing. The other sponsor of this runway is Ready Made <laughs> RC. <laughs> Uh, we got a lot of awesome sponsors, so shout out to all of them because it's because of them that we're able to have this awesome property and do these sketchy projects. But yes, Ready Made RC Runway is up here on the hill. This is the go-to place for big sketchy projects, so I think today's flight is suitable for those conditions. Dude, hey, this is almost flying out of my hands. Right. So Josh, you go first. Suze, right, you're up. Man. I'll launch me, and we, go. uh, we should be good to go. Seven, go for it. Come on, baby! It's climbing! This is so anemic! <laughs> it's climbing oh, still. It's city. Boy, that's up in the tree, dude! Alright. I gotta turn it, guys. I don't know. It's still going. Oh. Just give her all she's got. Watch it's out for that big tree. It's climbing very Watch out for that big tree! Oh, no. No, it's oh, like no. it. Oh, he's just gonna <laughs> stick her out! <laughs> oh my god! <goodness. laughs> I thought it was still going! I, I, oh, I was watching you miss the tree and I hit the tree. <laughs> Really tiny paper airplane down, Keep dude. Flying. Great flying, Josh. She doesn't want to fly, man. She's so unhappy right now. She doesn't Go want to. On. <laughs> Just keep it going you're out not, over there. You're not yeah. even over the runway. So you're yet. in the so you're in the wind. As soon as you went downwind, it got super sketch. Oh man. I gotta do another circle in a second. You're not over the runway yet. You're about to be getting over. You're over the runway. All right, another turn, guys. Yep. If you want. Good to. luck. Bring that big bird around. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at that big guy. There's something so, so majestic about seeing a paper airplane that big. I can't There's believe it flies so as good as it does. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear those power pack C motors. I know. I, I think, guys, this is going to have to be it. All right, dude. All right. Tell keep, me what I'm going to Yeah, keep there. going that way over keep the wheel going. tree. <laughs> keep going. You're not there He's yet. Throttle. He's I am just, just killing uh, those. All right. Ready? Three, two, two one. one. Let's go. 
Paper airplanes and they went really well. <laughs> the plane suddenly turned really nose heavy. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Oh, it was just, oh, it's blown away in the wind over there. <laughs> God, Dude, I, I was right behind it, and yeah. as soon as they came out, it hit my quad, and I was like upside down. <laughs> and I was like, oh no! So I, then I went through this whole tornado of paper airplanes, and it was awesome. Was it cool? Yeah, it was very awesome. Cool. I can't believe they flew as far as they did, and, and they all kind of came out and scattered. Yeah, yeah right. that, that was, was way cool. more amazing than I was expecting. Oh, man. And now, if you guys aren't familiar with us, we're doing projects like this all the time. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. Members, shout out to you. Thank you for the idea of dropping paper airplanes. It was way cooler than I could have ever awesome. imagined. And uh, unfortunately, we got a bunch of paper airplanes we got to go clean up. So we we'll see you next time. Next time. <laughs> all of a sudden, I'm coming around the, the, this tree, and it's like right here. I was like, oh, poof. I just caught it. Like, didn't even mean to. <laughs>